asking uh, anybody, including yourself. I mean, you don't get off on it. And the other thing is you wind up being a caricature of yourself. And out of respect to the makeup and what it was that we were trying to do, the name, it was time to change. And sometimes the change involves a caterpillar becoming a beautiful butterfly. And we had to show people just how beautiful we were. Now, I wonder how has gone through a lot of changes since Steppenwolf put the term to music in their 1968 hit, Born to be Wild. Here's Lisa Robinson with her thoughts on the current scene in heavy metal. Lisa? Thanks, Catherine. What's happened to heavy metal? The music that at one time seemed so threatening, so hard-edged, loud, and mindless, has been undergoing a change. Some people might feel that heavy metal has gotten soft, that parents' groups like the PMRC's attempt to censor rock lyrics got bands scared, and as a result, heavy metal got more mellow. Obviously, radio and TV programming has been soft on heavy metal, and that hasn't helped its visibility. But what's really happened is that the field is so big now that there are lots of subdivisions within heavy metal. There are the glam bands like Rat, Kiss, Twisted Sister, Motley Crue, and yes, even Ozzy Osbourne. There are the traditional bands like Judas Priest and Iron Maiden. There are speed metal bands like the Ramones. There are superstar commercial bands like Van Halen. And then there are the new generation of heavy metal bands determined to be outrageous, loud, and incomprehensible to the older generation. Bands like Metallica, Slayer, and Venom. Heavy metal cannot be lumped together anymore. You cannot categorize these bands any more than you could say that rock and roll is all alike and Bruce Springsteen and Johnny Rotten are the same. One thing is certain, however. Heavy metal hasn't gone away in 10 years, and it doesn't look like it's going to. Hello, headbangers. It's Dee Snyder from Twisted Sister here. It's like going to a party. When you go to a rat show, you're, you are going to a party like you used to go to in high school. Rock the nation going out to lunch. Girls, you want to get up on stage and you want to have your clothes torn off and you want to get back to the hotel and have your pick of ten of them. From about 1980, that's when I turned. And for about three years, man, I partied my brains out. right back with hearing aid, the heavy metal benefit for world hunger. You're going to need a hearing aid after this one. <laughs> In 85 was both a good and bad year for heavy metal. First, the Parents Music Resource Center decided to wrestle heavy metal music to the mat. But exactly the same time this was happening, some of the heaviest names in metal got together to do a song for the benefit of USA for Africa. It's called Stars. And the group Hearing Aid features the talents of Ronnie James Dio, Rob Halford, Final Tap, Vince Neal and choir director Kevin Dubrow. <laughs> <laughs> 